Let's move on to Amendment 3, uh, quote, voter control of gambling in Florida. This one's very complicated for folks, and I know that anything that involves casinos and gambling for certain factors are just going to be an automatic, I don't want any part of this. So, but that's not really your take on it or what you think some of the issues are with this amendment. Talk to talk to why. Well, there's a couple different things at play here. The number one is that what level uh, or what are we a democracy or a republic? And and what they're doing with this one is is that right now the legislature is really the one that decides on gambling um, here in the state of Florida. Um, and this really goes into the casino parts of it. So what what the people that are the pro three people, and because this is actually a group that put this forward, and it really is funded basically by Disney and the uh, Indians. Uh, the Indians in Florida and Disney World are the ones that are the big drivers behind this one. Um, and they're doing this in order to stop gambling from happening. But really what they're doing is they're trying to have a uh, an advantage, a tactical advantage against the state legislature, because in order for the Indians to actually run the casinos, they actually have to pay the state of Florida a whole lot of money. Now, they make a whole lot of money, so it's a pretty easy deal for them, but this is going to give them an advantage. This also is going to define what gambling is going to be allowed in Florida overall. And, again, I think this is something that the legislature can do. And even the people that don't want gambling, the legislature really is has not really been, um, you know, really good about trying to put gambling forward. I mean, most of the people up there, are against doing gambling anyway. I mean, unless the unless we're talking about the numbers game that the that the state of Florida is running in every convenience store here in the uh, in the state. Um, so that's really what three is all about. What level, you know, do you want it to be democracy all the time, to where you're just voting for casinos, yay or nay, or do you want it to be done by the Florida legislature? Yeah, I really do agree with you there. And you really kind of you mentioned their name, but you didn't really harp on it a little bit. Obviously, for me, Disney doesn't want competition. So, folks, they don't want anybody coming in here and uh, building 12 casinos and sucking up everybody else's money and not having any money for the mouse house. So, uh, for me, I think, you know, you know, follow the motivations of the A's and the nays and, and try to figure out that. And I, and I couldn't agree more. I don't know why we need more rules and regulations uh, governing anything like this. So, I tend to agree with you on that one as well.